every fight starts on the feet. So the first thing we'll go over is the stand-up game. There are several new features to the stand-up game this year, so it is recommended that you play through the tutorial first. However, if you feel like you have a grasp on stand-up striking, jump right into a fight against an opponent and prove yourself in the stand-up skill test. In the skill test, you'll receive one of four grades based on your standing striking performance and stand-up skills. Each grade will correspond to a bonus that will increase certain skills as displayed in the window above. You can retake the skill test as many times as you want, so try to get the max grade in order to receive the highest skill bonus before moving on. Yeah, what's going on y'all? I'm back. Um, it looks like they want me to do these stupid little tutorials, so um, I'm going to do them. But what I won't do is I won't watch anything. I'm going to hop right into the skill test. I feel as though I know a little bit about the UFC, a little bit about the game, so I'm going to just jump right into it. I really don't feel like watching any more tutorials. Sitting here listening to Mike Goldberg the entire time, you know, coaching me through everything endlessly. It's starting to make me a little mad, you know, but I'm cool with it. I'm, as long as I get to just play the game, it's fine with me. So, uh, um, one thing that I do want to say is, oh, uh, Mims started playing MW3. <laughs> yeah, but uh, check out uh, the striking tutorial. I was getting caught a little bit, you know, in this tutorial. And I felt as though I think I need to get a little bit of my defense up, you know, with the blocking and things like that. Because I see that I know how to strike. Don't get me wrong. I know how to strike. I know how to, you know, uh, move from left to right, sway. But it seems like my blocking really isn't up to par with the way that they block. You know, some people might say that, you know, the way that their moves are set up, you know, they have little sway and uppercuts and, you know, they got the duck and overhands and stuff like that. All of their moves are advanced when I'm fighting certain people. But I think I can hold my own against, you know, some of the fighters in the UFC. I'm not talking about like the top top five. But you know, um, maybe give me give me some like number ten to fifteen. Give me those guys right about now, and I think I could take them for real. But yeah, man, um, the striking tutorial wasn't hard at all. All I had to do was mix it up a little bit. You know, you know, upstairs, downstairs, a little bit of hand action, foot action. I did pretty good, you know. Um, I think I beat this with more than a minute to go. You know, usually uh, certain people might take like the whole session, but you know, I had to get the quick knockout. So of course that finished my session right up. <laughs> um, sorry guys, I'm sorry, but you got to listen to Mike Goldberg one more time. It's not my fault. <laughs> now that you've completed the stand-up section, let's talk about the clinch game. In the tutorial, you'll be taught how to strike and transition within the clinch, as well as how to get the fight to the ground from clinch control. If you are not familiar with the clinch game, you should run through the tutorial as it will help round out your game. If you know the ins and outs of the clinch game, jump into the clinch skill test. Similar to the stand-up skill test, you'll be pitted against an opponent and be required to perform clinch actions, such as clinch strikes, trips, or throws. Your performance during the test will determine which of the four grades you receive. Receiving the highest grade will grant you the max skill boost in the skills shown to start your career. So feel free to retake the test if needed. All right, one thing I should have done, guys, I think I should have watched the clinch tutorial because I will tell you I was horrible at it. Um, for some reason, I just couldn't get anything going standing on my feet. My Muay Thai was extremely horrible. So I had to actually speed this session up because it took a lot of time. It took the full amount for me to actually get it done. And I didn't completely finish it. So I actually sped it up. It looks kind of funny. So when we hop into it, don't like don't don't just stop laughing. Just keep laughing the entire time. Um, it looks like two grown men trying to hump. I don't know why. I don't know why I chose to speed it up instead of just, you know, sitting there watching it, making sure that I got everything down. But as I was trying to, you know, get transitions going, this guy would not let me go. My transition game wasn't up to par. So we were just kneeing each other, um, elbowing each other, uh, giving each other little hip bumps. It just, it was, it was a total fail. Now, I'm going to definitely admit that it's, it's totally my fault, but <laughs> just look at us, man. Like, oh, man, it, it was hilarious. I was cracking up, man. The last section we'll cover before we move on is the ground game. Whether you want to submit your opponent or avoid being submitted, 
you'll need to know what to do when the fight hits the ground. Take a moment to play through the tutorial and learn the basics for the ground game. When you're ready, you can proceed on to the ground skill test. Just like the other tests, you'll be required to perform ground grappling actions such as ground striking, ground transitioning, and submissions against an opponent. The more successful you are at performing these actions, the higher the grade score you obtain and the higher the stat boost you'll receive for the stats are displayed in the window above. Give it a shot. Let's see what you know. All right. Thank you, Mike. Once again, um, I'm hopping right into everything. Now, I shouldn't have watched this tutorial because I think I'm great at the whole ground and pound. I'm good at, you know, doing submissions. And I like the UFC system. You know, when you put in a submission, you got to chase the other guy. If he's fatigued or if he's knocked out or, well, not knocked out, but, you know, if he's, he's a little hazy from a crazy punch or kick that you gave him, it looks amazing. So, let's get this tutorial session started. We got a full five minutes. Now, what I want to do starting off, I wanted to get his body popping, but, you know, I just went immediately uh, immediately to the ground because I gave him a crazy hook. Now, I wanted to pound him out and see what would happen. Now, he's not trying to give me any transitions or anything like that. He's really just, you know, just staying on the ground. He's not trying to fight himself off. So, I'm just going to keep pounding until I see the bar keep going up and up and up and up and up. Now, I'm trying to get all these different positions, trying to work his body. Um, what I do is when I'm on the ground, I like to work a person's body, get them tired, just in case I want to try a submission. Now, some people might say, oh man, why don't you just keep punching them in the face until the fight is over? But you really can't do that because if you keep punching this guy and he puts you in a bad place, he can give you a crazy submission, he can counter you. Like, some people just don't understand that thing about the UFC. Like, I I'll get more into it after, um after the end of this match but well matter of fact no you know what you know what i'm gonna get into it now when you're on the ground and you're using up all your stamina and your cardio is not up and you try all these different moves you're trying to punch and he hits you with that one reversal it's over it's no way you're gonna win the fight your cardio isn't up your heart rate is pounding you're gonna lose the match if you try that so when I when I say get on the ground stick to your transition stick to getting the right position you know and the, the, you know the right body the feedback the all you got to do is just look at your player and you'll tell if he's gonna win the match by submission or if you can punch the guy out now with this guy I wanted to try a submission for the end because he wasn't giving me any type of position in the full amount so i just wanted to try something different with a nice little arm bar <laughs> um basically i like this system chasing them around you know it looked like two two spiders just chasing each other but you can already tell that i'm gonna win this match by submission so this tutorial is over let's go Now that you've completed all the tutorial sections, you're ready to move on to the difficulty test. In this one round sparring session against an AI opponent, all your skills will be tested. Try to finish the opponent while demonstrating all the areas of mixed martial arts. Based on your performance after this session, a difficulty session will be recommended for you. Let's see what you got. Okay, I can do this. <laughs> I could definitely do this. This is what I wanted. I want to go up in a cage and just dismantle somebody. Um, I hope that I hope it doesn't put me on beginner. Oh man, that would be a total fail if I've been talking all this crap this entire video about how okay I am at this game, and they give me a beginner's level. I would be pissed. So you know, I'm hoping that I do good in this match. Um. Let's see. Let's get straight into it. Five minutes first round, you know. Let's see what I can do against this guy. Now, starting off, I definitely want to strike him. Um, I really didn't want to take it to the ground too much. I wanted to try to stand on my feet, see how I can do against this guy. But he is tearing me a new one. So, I'm, <laughs> let's hurry up and get him in a nice clinch. Up oh, here we go with this butt hugging in. Got him to the ground. All right, let's get into the right transition. I want I want to get him in a nice full amount, see if I can pound him. You know, because I didn't pound him that much in the ground session last uh, 
the last part of this video so let's see what I can do against him here now you can notice he's taking the cage um, he's definitely trying to take me out of my game so I'm gonna try to drag him back down to the floor and see what I can do now I know I'm starting this off early it's not my fault I think that I can get a good good reading if I get this guy out of here with the quickness so let's see if I can get him out of here got him and he's gone Good job, my friend. You're just about ready to start your pro career. Before we move on, you'll now be asked to choose a difficulty setting to play the rest of your career on. While you do receive minor benefits to playing on harder difficulty settings, you will be unable to change your difficulty once you begin. You can retake the difficulty test again to practice or feel free to select a difficulty now. Why practice? Uh, it says I'm recommended for advanced um, I think that's pretty good you know um, I got better than beginner and experienced um, I was thinking about going to expert but I was like don't I'm not gonna try my luck if they say I'm for advanced I'm gonna do advanced and that's that so uh, in my next video guys you're gonna see me in my first fight this is IKC signing out peace Debuting in 2001, the World Fighting Alliance featured a Vegas nightclub atmosphere with some of the top talent in all of mixed martial arts. Future champions like Quentin Rampage Jackson, Rich Franklin, and Lyoto Machida all fought in the WFA before making their way to the Octagon. An impressive performance here will earn you a ticket to the big show. Your professional MMA career starts now.